All right, y'all, starting the video right here. So I'm at my storage and of course you can see by the thumbnail of this video what I'm about to do. I'm just grabbing some stuff that I already have for my centerpieces for the upcoming baby shower I have. Um, so I wonder, are, are y'all liking these kind of like, it's almost like a get ready with me, but kind of like event designer style. So it's almost like a get ready for the event with me. Y'all know what I mean? So. Um, I still have not got my storage organized yet. I need to come out, label it, label and update the different locations of where I have stuff. But for the most part, I know where everything is. So I'm gonna grab some flowers for the next event that I have coming up. And y'all just stick around with me for the rest of this video. I'll just try to time lapse the rest of it. But thank y'all for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home. It's a completely different day. Today is Friday, July the 14th, I think. I'm off work today. So the only thing I'm doing today is just gonna pump out a few centerpieces. I actually have to make 11 total. It's raining outside and there's really nothing else to do. I got my kids here. The rest of this video is probably gonna be a time lapse, but I wanna show y'all something real quick. These are the um, centerpiece cups that I bought maybe a year ago, I think. And they have the floor foam already embedded in them. And as you can see, I've used them quite a bit. I still can get another few more uses out of this. And I spray painted the bottom black when I did my all black uh, affair because I was using the gold vases and I didn't want it to show through. So for the ones that don't have a not, for the ones that have a not so good foam insert, I'm gonna take that out and hot glue another square piece, don't matter how you glue it and use that. But I have eight of these, I'm making eight table center pieces and then I'm gonna make a big um, centerpiece for the head table. So y'all just stay tuned, stick around. We're gonna pump out these centerpieces and make it do what it did. I'm gonna voice over the rest of this video, but before we go any further, I just want y'all to know that this is one of my favorite clear glass vases. I love this vase and I only have one of them. I got it from Hobby Lobby and I want to show y'all what happened to my other one. I used to have two and if I had a known any better I would have gotten more at the time. But y'all take a look at this. This is what happened. <laughs> Now that we didn't got that out of the way, this is the ball that I'm using to um, put my centerpiece together. On the last centerpiece I did like this, I actually used a full flown cup, the floral foam cups. Um, trying something different to make sure I still have some options available. The only thing I don't like about this is that you can see the round side of the ball on the underside of it, but I'm okay with it. I can live with it because once it's finished, you kind of can appreciate the centerpiece. Y'all you kind of you know they say listen trust the process on these bright uh green fillers right here i was just pulling them out of the tote as a filler i like them because when you're in nature when you know when you see butterflies you see them in different areas and they're normally in areas with wildflowers so my method to my madness here is to incorporate different colors in different shades so you see like i got the kind of like the ashy greenery and then i have this bright greenery and i want that to kind of go in or tie into my boxwood hedge backdrop that i'm going to be using as well i make the adjustments at the end um i'm gonna i, I didn't want to do too much pink and purple or too much pink and lavender in this centerpiece because her tablecloth is going to be pink so i didn't want them to clash so i did more white here and I'm making the adjustments. Oh, and before I go any further or too far in this video, um, in a case like that where vase is broken, now that I'm actually in business with this, the client would be responsible for taking care of that. But that was for my wife's aunt, which is my aunt since I'm married into the family. I wrote it off and counted it as a loss at the time and just moved on with my life. So I had just started out doing events and this I, that was just a learning experience for me. So right here you see I'm just filling in the centerpiece using some of the same centerpiece 
uh, flowers that I used in the lavender one and a bunch of different other ones that I have. I was cutting off the sticks that were poking through the bottom. I am pleased with the way that centerpiece turned out. I'm not being hard on myself because like I said, when you see butterflies, they're not just in one specific variety of flowers. They're in a whole plethora of flowers you see in nature. I cannot remember where I got these purple butterflies from, but I know I had them from a few events back and I wanted to use them. So that box or that flower centerpiece box that you just saw me use, I used that for another event and I ordered that off Amazon a while back too. And I wanted to incorporate that into this. This baby shower is going to be more elegant kind of butterfly, not like your typical baby shower where you see your ABC blocks and your one, two, threes and all of that. Um, I wanted to put the flowers because it's butterfly and this is for my EOE worker, my sister-in-law. And you know, I know she appreciates these colors. So, only thing I'm doing now is these are going to be the centerpiece. That big one I just did was for the head table. This one is going to be for the guest tables. I'm doing four of these type centerpieces, and then four with just a green boxwood hedge ball on it. And we're going to put some gold butterflies on it as well. I was just showing you the floor foam cups and how if the foam that comes in that insert is bad off you can pull it out and put just a piece of square put a square insert in glue it in and it'll hold just like the other one would or the original would so now this centerpiece right here was kind of a trial and error i didn't like the way it turned out and i actually went back to fix it i love using hydrangeas because they are a great filler piece for your flowers um, but as you can see, I was not bending the stems in to make it shorter. So I had, I found myself struggling to fill that flower up. So I did go back after I finished this one to make it right. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of do what I do on this one and make it work. But while I got you here, you know, um, this video I wanted to do a voiceover just so you guys can see what I do and walk, walk through it with me. It's not any different than what I typically do on my other videos if I can't get you the gist of it in the intro or just let you guys watch a time lapse. But what do you think about these videos with the voiceover? Do you appreciate them? What do you think about like these vlog type videos where I show you how I get ready for an event? I like to see the behind the scenes stuff when it comes to other event designers on YouTube and a lot of times they don't share the ins and outs and the get ready with me. I'm calling it a get ready with me designer <laughs> edition but they don't share the behind the scenes stuff and I think this is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of steps that the clients miss when it comes to pricing and when it comes to paying for an event. So, you know, we're not going to get into the whole song and dance about price, and I'm not here to share that. I'm not here to, to disclose any information like that, because like I said in previous videos, that could vary from state to state, location, demographics, cost of living, whatever the case, whatever the case may be. But um, clients need to see this kind of stuff. You know, your centerpieces don't already, a lot of times don't already come made. They have to be made. It's different pieces that go into making stuff like this so i'll give an example the centerpiece vase that i'm using which is a gold one i think i purchased two of those for i want to say 180 dollars for two so that already is a um what is that 90 dollars that is a 90 dollar base on a centerpiece then the different variety of flowers that is at least if I had to make a guess, 60 to $75 worth of flowers that's on the top of that centerpiece, including the floor foam that goes in it. So they don't get that. And if you're almost paying one table, a centerpiece is almost $200. They have to understand that. They have to understand that they're not going to be able to get that. If they do it themselves, they can accomplish it. But once they get to the end of that road, they'll see how much money they've spent in it. They've seen how much time and effort they put into it. And sometimes it's really not even worth worth the hassle. So sometimes you have to make a believer out of a client who feels like you're overcharging or it, you're too expensive for them. And I don't like to use the word too expensive. Just say that they're not within your budget. If that's not what you're planning or looking to spend in, then you know then that's the case but somebody else may be willing to or may be willing to budget in that price so this is the second one that i did and i really like this one because i folded the stems in a lot better 
and you know you guys can see me kind of just showing you the, the little stuff that I'm doing but somebody told me to add the greenery first so I tried that and I think I like doing it like that I might go back and I'm, I'm gonna try both of them I'm, I'm gonna do a, a, a comparison and see which one I like better but they said to add the greenery first then put your bigger flowers and then put your smaller flowers in and it seemed to work out well for me I didn't find myself having to use as much but I do like where um, this centerpiece went and then I went back and fixed the other one to kind of make the mirror so I'm excited for you guys to see this baby shower this baby shower I'm doing is completely sponsored by my a business because like I said she is an employee so she didn't have to pay anything so I'm excited to see how it turns out this is like the third or fourth butterfly event that I've done and recorded for you guys I hope it doesn't get redundant but I try to give my people what they ask for I'm just trying to use different or bolder colors in these events so if you're not a subscriber make sure you take a minute to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notified when i upload my videos as always i appreciate you guys stopping by and you guys make sure you stay tuned for the next video and thank you again make sure you share this make sure you share this bye y'all <laughs>